church. I know what it's worth. And maybe that's why I join the orthodoxy. Cause it seems that they know why they're there. And they actually care, unlike so many churches I've seen. But no shade, no shade. <laughs> I hate it when people get on their high horse talking about how much they know. I hate it when people debate stuff they, they need to let it go. Not everyone's gonna feel the way you do. Not everyone's gonna see the world the way you see it. So be it, let them suffer. Cause they're fixing to do that anyway. No matter what you have to say, they're not gonna listen. They're not gonna listen. They're not gonna listen. No, we're not supposed to pray for them. Because they're not going to hear the prayer. They're not going to receive the prayer. You might as well pray for somebody that's going to receive it. I know. So I'd asked this question before, like, is it just totally pointless to pray for secular people? Uh, like, half the people I work with don't believe in God. And I pray for them regardless, but... Um, I just read in the scripture that we shouldn't do that. So, because God won't hear the prayer either because they have shut themselves off from the sunlight of the spirit as the 12 steppers would say. But it's true, it is sunlight. And the people that run the world uh, worship the sun. That's why Jesus is the Son of God. It's a play on words. I'm not saying that it's not real. I'm not saying I don't believe in the Holy Trinity. What I'm saying is that uh, the people that run the world, a.k.a. the Society of Judas, um, they, uh, they're reading the Bible and applying it as they see fit. <laughs> That erasing. Um, at least it sounds like it anyway. I should race because, like, my 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 car goes up to 150. Here we are on the slow way. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We, we don't we don't need to be in the fast lane. I'm not saying I've never driven in the fast lane, but it depends on the days. Some days I drive pretty fast, other days I drive like a grandma. Today's one of those grandma days. Yes. I'm not I'm not trying to get where I'm going any faster. And I don't really understand people like that. And I know that every single time, okay, I'm sorry. Um, I, I know like, <clears throat> hairball. I know certain parts of the road are like really, really bumpy. So sorry about that. I can't control that. I can only control what I do. I cannot control what the state does or doesn't do. So um, anyway, yeah, I mean, I'm very, very patient, and I trust the process, and so really impatient people don't understand that, like they get mad, like my mother gets mad at me all the time, because I, I don't 
care about waiting. <laughs> like when I was waiting for my glasses to arrive. She sent me a text message. And, and this is why it's so stressful talking to my parents. My, my dad's not like this. My mom is, though. My mom stresses me the fuck out. It took me a long time to realize that it was my mom the whole time. Like, I love my mom, but she's very, very impatient. And... And my dad's impatient too, but maybe I just have more empathy for him now than I did before because I hated him for so long. I hated him. And I thought he was the worst father ever. And he didn't understand me. He invalidated me. Here's the thing. Fuck you. Fuck you too. <laughs> we don't like loud trucks. We don't like loud cars. We don't like loud anything. That's why we hate planes and helicopters because they make noise. <laughs> and they distract us. And we're already pretty easily distracted. generation is, is responsible for, you know, this, this, uh, explosion in therapy. And I'm not just saying because of the way that, um, they, they raised me, but it's like, when you have people that refuse to acknowledge any kind of issues and you can't talk about them because of how bad that makes the family look you know that's more of what it's about than anything else and that's why that generation is so narcissistic it, it's because they care more about the appearance than they do anything else and so when people throw a lot of shade on boomers it's it's because their generation never talked about anything and so now we have all these generations especially the Millennials and the Zoomers that are just constantly talking about all these things, but they're not getting anywhere because they're not talking about them in the right way. And then they want to be coddled. And I'm not saying they... I don't have the pick yourself up by your bootstraps mindset because I feel like a lot of people... If you don't have that mindset, you're not going to be able to do that. You know? But, um... It's just, uh... People really don't, just don't know how to communicate. That's what it boils down to. 